<laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the heck to start with this mess. before you fancy beauties and bows is the task that I have to clean up on Christmas day night <laughs> if that makes sense to you so I took my Christmas tree down Christmas night after the, all the partying and everything that we had going on over here and so I used my sunroom as the catch-all room for the decor. So now we have to go in and tackle the mess, try to figure out how I'm going to get this stuff organized and put away. So your girl getting ready to get busy, as you can see. So I used to take my Christmas decorations, Christmas tree down on... January the 1st, New Year's Day, or the next day after. But I found that when I did that, I ended up working nonstop. Like, it was ridiculous. So I was like, okay, for the last three years, I totally changed my routine. I said, let's go ahead and take this tree down as soon as the festivities are over. And it works better because that way... I'm moving into the new year nice, smooth, relaxed, rested up, which you guys know is a true task for your girl. But for the last three years or so, it might be longer than that, I have been doing it this way. It, yeah, matter of fact, it has been four years because my grandson has been, he was four, he was when he came here so yeah anyway what I did is I went ahead and used some plastic that I kept from when I got my sectional so I'm using that to wrap everything in also I think I end up grabbing some old shower curtains some new ones the little plastic ones matter of fact that's what that is right there and I just use that and then once I'm done I can just go ahead and use it for a shower curtain if that's what I need to do it for but I just want to give you guys some tips on you know what you can do to kind of move into your new year without being so bogged down with everything else the all the other traditions that come with going into a new year you know you gotta make your black eyed peas <laughs> you gotta make your greens you gotta have a man come through your front door first before anybody else comes through your door and all these other things you know so if we can get Christmas out the way then we can just go ahead and focus right in on those things and oh yeah there we go well, you had to adjust it. <laughs> Enjoy it a lot better. So, let me know what you guys do. Take the down sooner, or if you leave your Christmas to more up after the movie. Sit in there. Tell her to sit up in there. Mama, don't take this. If you get ready to take it off when it start itching, you need to rub that alcohol on it. You pull out oh, your yeah, head. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I'll say it okay. Get to know. Get to know. Get to know. Get to know. I mean, your uh, cat. Yeah, I just normally go for it. Is it on? Is, is it on? Is it on? So I just want you guys to see where we're at with the installation. She's got it down real good. The Gossa B, she's got on there. I think she did maybe two or three.
Eight hours later. Girl, yes. You already know I was not going to be able to finish everything in one night. Because it was already late when she was doing my hair. And she did um, my granddaughter's hair and my oldest girl hair too. So we had to put every I had to put everything off until the next day. So now I am jumping right back in and resuming my project of getting everything cleared away. I also reorganized and put the furniture in different spots in the sunroom. So you guys take a look and see that. So if you have any questions or comments, that leave those down below and I'll get back to you at my earliest convenience. I apologize for the last few videos that I have not responded in a timely manner. Everything has been super in fast beat. Just go, 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 go. But I am working on doing better. So until the next video, fancy beauties and bows. Stay fancy, stay prayed up, stay focused on God, stay kind to one another, and stay tuned in to the Fancy Channel. See you in 2020.